in continuation with my earlier video, sharing the small herbal plant, known as Bo Amalaki, Buea Amalaki, of species Phyllanthus amaris, and family Euphorbiaceae. The plant is widely used to tone up sluggish liver, and also given in chronic liver condition, and jaundice. It is an annual herb, and grows up to a height between 30 to 50 centimeters. The fruits are tiny smooth capsules, containing seeds longitudinally, ribbed on the back. This herbal plant is usually used as infusion, and drunk by many, for health maintenance, and it is considered as a wonder-working herb. It is a very popular folk medicine, to treat liver disorders, kidney, and spleen, particularly due to hepatitis B, and jaundice, intestinal infection, diabetes, etc. It is a herbal remedy, for kidney stones, and very effective in the treatment of jaundice. This herb is one of the essential ingredients, of many formulations, used in the recovery of bronchitis, leprosy, asthma, anemia, urinary discharge, inuria, biliousness, chronic dysentery, and hiccup. The fruit of this herb is very useful, for treating wounds, scabies, ulcers, and ringworm. An infusion of root is a good tonic. In many parts of India, especially in deserts, the roots mixed with cumiferum mucal, are given to camels to cure indigestion. Please note, one must avoid the excessive use of herbal remedies, due to the danger of hyperglycemia, and hypertension. Too much herbal diabetes medications, may cause your blood sugar level, to drop too low, causing hyperglycemia. This herb also has anti-diabetic properties. The plant cereal parts, may help prevent glucose absorption, and improve glucose storage, and may help maintain blood sugar levels. The plant is dried, and mixed with king of bitter leaves, also known as calm egg, chirota. After drying it is powdered, and mixed together, and consumed for treating diabetes, liver disorders, kidney, and spleen. The results obtained from studies, have found that this plant contained considerable amount, of some important chemical compounds, and is also rich in protein, lipid, ash, fiber, and carbohydrate. It has also mineral elements, such as iron, manganese, magnesium, zinc, calcium, potassium phosphorus, copper, and chromium, in appreciable amount, with calcium present in the highest concentration. The phytochemical analysis of this herb, revealed the presence of alkaloids, supnins glycosides, tannins, steroids, flavonoids, and carbohydrates. This herb is not recommended for pregnant, or breastfeeding women. Without proper knowledge, one should not consume any herbal plant. This video is for information purpose only, and does not constitute, any kind of medical advice.